today I'm sharing with you a treat that is absolutely delicious paired with a cup of coffee or tea. I'm going to show you how to make an Estonian Kringle. This is like a cinnamon roll, but instead of slicing it into individual rolls, you cut it down the middle and twist it into a wreath. And then after baking, you drizzle it with chocolate icing and sprinkle it with sugar. This is really delicious, so let's get started on this Estonian classic. First, we're going to start by making a yeast dough. To a stand mixer, add 200 milliliters or a little over three quarters of a cup of lukewarm whole milk and 20 grams or seven teaspoons of active dry yeast and a couple teaspoons of sugar. Mix that and let it sit for five minutes until the yeast blooms or puffs up on the surface. Now add in two lightly beaten eggs and then mix that in. And then add in 600 grams or four and three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour, a pinch of salt and hundred grams or seven tablespoons of cooled melted unsalted butter. Then knead that with a dough hook until the dough clumps together and is smooth to the touch and pulls away from the side of the bowl. Don't worry if it doesn't form one cohesive mass in the bowl, just make sure it isn't too dry or too sticky. As long as it holds together when you press the dough together, then it is the right consistency. You're going to place the dough in a covered bowl and let it rise until it's doubled in size between 30 minutes to an hour. While the dough is rising, we'll make the filling. To a medium bowl, add 170 grams or three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, 100 grams or seven tablespoons of softened unsalted butter, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then cream those together until it forms a cohesive paste. Then you're gonna cover that and set it aside until you're ready to use it. Now you're going to take your risen dough and punch it down and then roll it out into a large rectangle about 28 by 17 inches or 71 by 43 centimeters. Then you're going to spread the filling over the dough as evenly as possible up to about a half an inch from the edge. An offset spatula was really helpful for that. While I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little bit about the dessert. The one we're making today is a chocolate cinnamon flavor and in Estonian, you would call this a Kneli Zokoladi Kringel, or a cinnamon chocolate Kringle. And Kringles are a staple at most Estonian celebrations. They're made for birthdays, holidays, anniversaries, and celebrations of all kinds. They come in many different flavors, like the chocolate cinnamon we're making today, and others such as cinnamon sugar, cinnamon raisin, apple, nut fillings, Nutella, marzipan lingonberry, and the list goes on. The Kringle is a type of shaped dough related to the pretzel. Pretzels were first introduced from Germany to Denmark by Roman Catholic monks in the 13th century, and then spread from there to all of the Nordic countries as well as the Baltic countries, Estonia and Latvia. You'll even find pretzel-like doughs in the Netherlands and Belgium as well, and there they're called crackling. The pretzel or kringle comes in many different shapes, doughs, and flavors, depending on the country and the region it's from. Some have that iconic twist like the German pretzel and others are circular or twisted braids like the one we're making today. Some are sweet and some are savory as well. And that iconic pretzel shape that we know from Germany was very common throughout medieval and Renaissance Europe and used as a symbol for bakers guilds. And you actually see a lot of imagery of pretzels in different Renaissance art, especially during the Dutch Renaissance. You see a lot of pretzels in the images that have food in them. Back to the dough, you'll see that I've tightly rolled up the dough from the long side and then cut it down the middle with a knife, leaving a small section on one end connected. Now you're going to face the cut side upwards and then you're going to twist the dough around itself. If you've learned something in this video so far, 
Click that like button below and consider subscribing for more videos like this every week where I showcase a European baked good and its history or traditions. Now curve it around and place both ends together, weaving the cut ends into the closed end. You will want to tightly tuck it in so that it does not pop out as it rises during baking. Place it on your parchment lined baking sheet and then bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, whisk together a simple icing of 170 grams of powdered sugar with two teaspoons of cocoa powder and two to four tablespoons of milk or until you reach a thick drizzling consistency. Then you're going to drizzle it on top of the still warm Kringle and then sprinkle it with powdered sugar and slice into it while it is still warm. I'm so excited to try this. I can't wait to see what it tastes like. Wow, I love that. That soft like a cinnamon roll and then the filling is warm and gooey. And then that chocolate on top adds the perfect amount of extra sweetness and flavor. I know it's tempting to leave that chocolate drizzle off just because it's so pretty without it but taste definitely takes precedence over aesthetics here. That chocolate drizzle is perfect on top. If you want a delicious fall treat that you can enjoy with a cup of something hot, then definitely make this. If you enjoyed this video and learned something today, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. I make recipes every week from a different European country and explore the different history and traditions associated with each recipe. For another cinnamon roll type recipe, check out my Finnish cinnamon buns. And for an apple cinnamon roll recipe, check out my English apple dappy. And I'll see you next time.